Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that if E1 and E2 are the eccentricities of a hyperbola and its conjugate respectively, find E1 is to E2. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, if x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1, with a given hyperbola, then minus x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1, that is y squared over b squared minus x squared over a squared is equal to 1, or you can write x squared over a squared minus y square over b square is equal to minus 1. Is it conjugate hyperbola? Where a and b are the constants. That is, the hyperbola whose transverse and conjugate axis are respectively the conjugate and transverse axis of the given hyperbola is called the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola. And if E is the eccentricity of the given hyperbola, then E square is equal to 1 plus the conjugate axis over the transverse axis whole square which is equal to 1 plus now the length of the conjugate axis is 2B and length of transverse axis is 2A whole square which is equal to 1 plus b square over a square. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. In the question it is given that E1 and E2 are the eccentricities of the hyperbola and its conjugate respectively then we have to find even is to e2. Now let x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1 with a given hyperbola. Then using the result for finding out the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola. Here we have y square over b square minus x square over a square is equal to 1 as its conjugate hyperbola. Now, E1 is the eccentricity of the given hyperbola That is this hyperbola. Then using this result, which is given the key idea, here e1 square will be equal to 1 plus b square over a square, which implies e1 is equal to square root of 1 plus b square over a square which is further equal to square root of a square plus b square all upon a square. Now this is the equation of the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola. It is also given that E2 is the eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola, that is, the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola. 
therefore e2 square is equal to 1 plus a square over b square. That is, for the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola, the length of the conjugate axis will be equal to 2a and the length of transverse axis will be equal to 2b and hence on solving we are getting e2 square is equal to 1 plus a square over b square. Which implies e2 is equal to square root of b square plus a square whole upon b square. Now we have to find e1 is to e2. Now using the values of e1 and e2, e1 is to e2 is equal to square root of a square plus b square whole upon a square is to square root of b square plus a square whole upon b square which is further equal to square root of a square plus b square over square root of a square into square root of b square over square root of b square plus a square. Now these terms are cancelled with each other. Further, this is equal to square root of b square over a square. Therefore, e1 is to e2 is equal to square root of b square over a square Hence, e1 is to e2 is equal to plus minus b over a. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.